Tonight I have the director of that film, Academy Award-winning director and actor. Let's welcome Mel Gibson to the Harvest Crusade. Thank you. Thanks, Greg, for asking me to come along Thank here. You, honored to be here and honored to be here. Um, they love you, Mel. <laughs> Well, I love you folks. You know, about 12 years ago when I was um, literally, when I made this film, I was literally getting the tar kicked out of me. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, you people out there, uh, evangelicals, who stood up and, and supported me. And I thanked you at the time, but I thank you again, okay? So that was great of you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. We love it. Yeah. You know, first of all, Mel, like, you got some big guns going on there. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. You want to arm wrestle right now? Come on. Okay, let's go. Okay, go. I don't know. Oh, brave heart. <laughs> I can't win. Okay. Okay, it's a dead heat. I, it's funny, I was talking with Mel backstage. I said, Mel, what was the first film that you were in? And I chose some film, and he said, no, I was in something called Mad Max. I said, yeah, I think I've heard of that somewhere. Yeah, I mean, Mel has been in so many films, but, but this film in particular, The Passion of the Christ, you know, as I said, it, it's sort of like going back in time. I felt like I went into a time machine and almost was seeing it. And, you know, there are some moments that are very graphic. But as you've said in interviews, uh, maybe your film, as is, is realistic as it is, isn't as graphic as it actually was the scourging, the whipping, the crucifixion itself. But why did you make this film? Well, I think um, there's a tendency for all of us uh, to take that event yeah. and the extent of the sacrifice, take it for granted. Yeah. And filmically particularly, cinematically, I think it's been sanitized a fair bit right. so that it becomes, I don't know, ineffective, ineffectual, not emotional. Yeah. And I wanted to illustrate the extent of, of the sacrifice yes. Christ made. So I felt that to do a film like that and my own experience contemplating over the years on the passion uh, my imagination soared, and there are readings on the on the matter that kind yeah. of brought home the dreadful reality yeah. of how bad the uh, how bad it was. And I just wanted to put that on film to give people maybe a new look and to sort of bring another theological perspective to it you that did. perhaps they hadn't thought of before. Yes, maybe hold the mic just a little closer. Closer. Yeah, we, there we so we can hear you a little bit. But there you go. That's good. Now, Mel, there's a rumor. The word on the street is that you're going to do a follow-up to The Passion, and it's gonna be written by Randall Wallace, who, um, how many of you have seen the film Braveheart? Have you seen Braveheart? Okay, yeah. Well, Mel directed that film. He starred in the film as uh, William Wallace, and Randall Wallace uh, wrote that film, and so you and Randall are talking about writing a sequel to The Passion. So is that gonna really happen? We're, we're talking about that. Of course, that's a huge undertaking. Yes. And, you know, it's not the passion, too. I mean, it's called the resurrection. That's right. And um, it's... That's right. Of course, that's a very big subject. Yes. Um, and um, it needs to be looked at because we don't want to just do a simple rendering of it. I mean, we can all read what happened, but in order to really experience and, and explore probably deeper meanings of what it's about, it's going to take some doing. And, uh, and Randall Wallace is up to the task. He's, uh, he's also, a, as well as a brilliant writer, he's a great director. He directed We Were Soldiers and Heaven yes. is for Real and stuff. So he's, he's a good writer and director. Yeah. So That's uh, fantastic. And you have a new film. In fact, we've been showing the trailer here at the... Uh, SoCal Harvest for the last couple of nights called Hacksaw Ridge. And th this is coming out in the month of November. And I've, I've seen this film. Uh, Mel was nice enough to invite me up to preview it. Oh, man, this is an amazing film. It's a realistic World War II film. Uh, some graphic scenes, but not gratuitous at all, but telling a very real story of a very real man, Desmond Doss. I, I, you know, honestly, when... I heard what this is about. I didn't know who Desmond Doss was. What, why did you decide to make a film about Desmond Doss and who is he exactly? Well, 
Desmond Doss was, uh, he received the Medal of Honor, the Congressional Medal of Honor for Courage Under Fire. Um, and he was singular in that most guys who get the Medal of Honor, they do something in a split second. Um, and it's a decision that, uh, you know, and they do something courageous, heroic. Desmond uh, did what he did over and over and over again in different places in the Pacific. Uh, but his greatest uh, achievement was in um, Okinawa, where he saved a lot of men. And the other interesting thing about Desmond is that he was a conscientious objector, and he went into battle without a weapon. Yeah. As a medic. As a medic. And uh, what he did was supernatural. And he only did it through faith. Yes. That's all. He was on, armed only with his faith. Yeah. And This man existed. He was a man of faith and conviction. Never fired a bullet. Got the Medal of Honor for extraordinary feats that he could only achieve through the power of God. Yeah, that's right. And you made a film about him. And I would say, I would say that uh, Hacksaw Ridge is the best depiction of a Christian in a mainstream film that I've seen since Chariots of Fire. Uh, because this is, he's a hero, and he was a hero. You show him standing up for his faith. You show him reading his Bible, praying, taking a lot of abuse from his fellow soldiers who call him a coward. But hey, when it was all said and done, he was far from a coward. How many men did he rescue up from that place where that Hacksaw Ridge was? It, it was more than 100, wasn't it? Well, the army claimed it was 100, and he claimed it was less. <laughs> so they rounded it off to 75. Wow. But he did that in eight hours. All by himself. By himself. Unbelievable. Yeah. Motivated by his faith. So we're looking forward to seeing that film. You know, Mel, you've, uh, you've had incredible success, of course. Uh, uh, you were Mad Max. Uh, the Lethal Weapon films, of course. Braveheart, The Patriot, We Were Soldiers. Uh, all these amazing films. But then you go out of your way and you make films like The Passion of the Christ, and Hacksaw Ridge. What motivates you, Mel, to make faith, faith films like this, films with a faith message? Why do you do it? Well, faith is a real thing. Yeah. And I think that oft times, uh, well, I made the ultimate superhero film in The Passion of the Christ. That's right. And um, yes. so, and Someone like Desmond Doss is also a superhero. Yeah. And real superheroes don't wear spandex. Sorry. And they don't have a lot of 3D special effects, but, um, but they do operate on a higher level, on a supernatural level. And they, uh, they actually look and appeal to something greater than themselves and then they do something superhuman. Yeah. Well, thank you for making these films, Mel. And we, uh, we appreciate you. We're glad you're here at the event tonight. And uh, it's just it's so great to talk with you and hang out with you and think about what you're going to do in the future. And I want to show you guys now a scene from Hacksaw Ridge coming out in November, directed by Mel Gibson and uh, starring Andrew Garfield, who was Spider-Man, yeah. and he was great in the role, yeah. really great in the role, and Vince Vaughn plays the sergeant. He, too, is really fantastic, and the fellow that was an avatar, I'm forgetting his name. Sam Worthington. Sam Worthington yeah. is in the film as well. You have a great cast, amazing story, and let's thank Mel Gibson again for coming and joining us at the SoCal Harvest.